Hello learners, welcome to our science class. In today's lesson, you will be learning about how light and sound travel. In our previous lesson, you have learned how heat travel in different phases of matter. Heat transferred from warm substance to cool substance in three ways. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction is a transfer of heat energy throughout solid substances. Heat travel from particle to particles of solids that are in contact with each other. Some solid substances conduct heat easily, such as aluminum, iron, steel, brass, and other metals. Convection is a method of heat transfer through the movement of fluid like uh, liquid and gas. And radiation is the transfer of heat energy by infrared waves. The heat waves travel through space without matter. Popular example is how the earth receives heat of the sun by radiation. Can you tell how heat is transferred in the following situations? Violent water. Ironing clothes. Staying under the sun. Using heat to keep the room warm. Placing metal spoon in a glass of hot water. Do you get all the numbers right? Good! Let us now proceed to module 5, taking a straight and loud travel. With your learning experiences in the previous lesson, we believe that you have already learned about how heat travels. This module will investigate how light and sound travel. Light is a form of energy that is made up of very tiny particles called photons. It is the fastest thing that moves in the universe. It travels at the speed of about 3,000 kilometers per second in a vacuum in a form of electromagnetic waves. It changes its speed when it passes with different materials like air and water. Light travels quickly in air and slowly in water and glass. Now let's find out how light travels by doing activity 1, searching for the path of light. These are what you need in this activity. Flashlight, 3 pieces of cardboard with hole, and a piece of cardboard without hole. Bring all the materials into a dark room. The cardboard should at least one foot away from each other. And the hole should be aligned in such a way that the wall can be seen through the holes. Switch on the flashlight and focus each light through the holes. Ask your partner to block the path of light with cardboard without a hole. Now, let your partner misalign the middle cardboard with holes and observe. To further understand the activity, let us try to answer the guide questions. What happened to the light when you focused it on the wall without blockades or obstruction? Yes, the light passed through the holes of the cardboard to the wall. When you block the light with the cardboard, 
Was it able to pass through it? Why? Good. The answer is no. Light always travel in a straight line. When we block its path, the light ray stops. When you align the cardboard with holes, was light able to pass through it? Explain your answer. If your answer is yes, you're great. When the whole of the cardboard is aligned, there would be no blockades and the light rays can freely pass through it. When one of the cardboards was not aligned with the other cardboards, was the light able to pass through the other cardboards? Why? If your answer is no, good. The cardboard that was not aligned with the other will block the light rays. What can you say about the way light travels? Yes, light always travel in straight line. Do you get all the numbers right? Great! Let us now proceed to activity number two. Hear me. Describe how sound travels in solid, liquid, and gas materials. These are the materials needed in this activity. Three clear ice plastic bag, sand, water, and air. Half fill the first ice plastic bag with sand, the second with water, and the third with air. Tie it. Place the ice plastic bag with sand on top of the table and put your ear on it. Ask your family member to tap the table and listen to the sound it produces. Do the same in water and air. Did you hear the sound when your family member tapped the table? Yes. In which medium was the sound loudest? That's right, in the sand. What could be the reason behind it? You're great. The sound travel faster through solid, slower through liquid, and slowest through gas. Sound is an energy produced by vibration. When we say vibration, it is the back and forth movement of an object. Sound cannot travel through a completely empty space or a vacuum. A vacuum has nothing in it, not even air. Now let's try activity 3, find me. Hunt the words or term that are related to sounds. 1. Blank travels through different materials. 2. When objects make sound, they move back and forth. This movement is called blank. 3. Sound travels blank through solid than blank and gases. Four, sound travels the blank through gases because the particles of blank are farthest apart.
And number five, if the particles of matter are very close to each other, the sound wave passes quickly. This is observed in blank materials. Good job, kids! I know you are now ready to answer the post-test. Enjoy learning!